Hello everyone, let me to present to you Jordan Casey, a 13-year-old entrepreneur and game developer. Please give him a warm welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, like, like Magic said, I'm Jordan, and my presentation is just going to be telling you a bit about me, um, my projects, and then uh, like the advantages and disadvantages of being a young entrepreneur. And then after that, if you have any questions, I'll take them. So uh, I'll just start. Uh, I'll just start by telling you uh, a bit about me. Uh, I'm 13 years old. Uh, I'm from a city called Waterford in Ireland. Uh, I'm a self-taught programmer. I started programming. Oh no, sorry. I'm a self-taught programmer. I started programming when I was nine. Uh, and then I founded two startups. Um, one of them is called Teachware, and the other one is called Casey Games, which I'll tell you about in a, a bit. Uh, I'm also a speaker. I've done a few uh, events before. Uh, so yeah, I'll just start off by telling you a couple of my projects. Um, my first one was called Alien Ball vs. Humans. Uh, it's basically a mobile version of Space Invaders, um, which I programmed in uh, Objective-C. Uh, I released it in February 2012, and within two days it went to number one in the Irish uh, games charts. And yeah, it did really well. Um, it sort of got me into the gaming industry. Uh, so it took two weeks to like um, make, and it was more of an experiment than commercial. I was more interested in the technology and how it worked than just making money from it. Uh, and also 10% of the sales went to a uh, cancer respite. Uh, another one of my projects is called Food World, uh, which is an online multiplayer game. Um, it was my first game that I really wanted to make because I started programming from playing Club Penguin, which is a similar game, uh, just playing, making blogs about it. So this is, I wanted to try and make my own version of it, and this is what it was. Uh, it took two, two attempts to actually make it, uh, and so we launched it in January 2013. So what it is, it's based in a giant kitchen, and you play as this, these foods, and you go around, you play with friends, you play, ga you play games and things like that. So we're currently putting it under construction because our designer is uh, busy with like exams. And so the technical, um, it's written in ActionScript 3. Uh, it uses the Smart Fox server, which helps it go on, uh, on multiplayer, and it took one month to uh, produce. Uh, another one of my projects is called My Little World. It's uh, an adventure puzzle game about this tiny creature called JC, who lives in a back garden, and he wants to explore the entire world uh, around him. Um, so I released it in June in New York City um, at the Apple Store in Zoho, which was really good. Um, so we had an ebook based on the story uh, released, and it also has a level creator, which allows the people who play it to make their own levels, and it sort of introduces them into to game design. Uh, I've put a huge effort into it. It's my first like real commercial game, uh, and then the technical I I wrote it in Action Script Three. Um, I it was released on iOS in June, and we're going to release it on Android and Windows 8 soon. And I've been pr making it for seven months, so it's taken a while. Um, and so what I'm currently working on is uh, an application called Teachware, which is a cloud-based student management system. Um, so teachers can manage their students' attendance, their students' exams, like their profiles. And it's going to be free. It's going to be ad-based. Uh, we're going to have a web app, uh, so it'll be on the internet. Uh, we're going to have an iOS app and an Android app. Um, so it's. I've been working on it for a really long time. Um, well, I've, I've, I've put a lot of effort into it. I haven't been working on it for that long, two months. So I'm writing it in ActionScript 3, um, PHP, and JavaScript. And so yeah, I've been working on it for two months, and I only have 20% done after like all the work. So it's going to be a really big project. Uh, we launched our alpha on Monday. So we, we sent it to a few teachers to test out, and feedback has been really good so far. Uh, we're going to launch it to the public in November, which should be should be good. Uh, so yeah, the key points to my success, I think, um, would be my programming skills. I think I c I'm a good developer. I think I can make good pro products. Uh, oh, my age, uh, because I'm so young, I get what I call a head start. So uh, because I'm so young, a lot of I get a lot of publicity, and therefore a lot of good publicity for my products. Uh, and then most importantly, uh, the support I've been given from um, fa friends and family, they've given me a lot of time. Tech companies have given me free software, free test devices to make my, my products. And then people familiar with the industry have given me lots and lots of uh, advice. Uh, so I'll just go back to when I first started programming and so uh, sort of like a timeline. 
So when I started programming, there wasn't a lot of kids doing it too. Uh, it was very, very different. So yeah, uh, how I started was I played Club Penguin and a lot of the other kids who played it too were making websites about it and blogs. So I thought that would be like a really fun hobby. And so I, I went to the store and I bought a book on uh, HTML. And so after that, uh, I was thinking of different projects I could work on. And then I said, why not make my own game? And so uh, that's what I did. So then I founded Casey Games, which is the game company that I run when I was 12. And so by the time I was 12, there's been like a lot more kids getting into programming too. It's becoming a lot more normal. So, and then, uh, yeah. So then in 2013, I did Teachware. So yeah. And then just to get finish off the presentation, uh, I'd go through the advantages and disadvantages of being a young entrepreneur. So the advantages would uh, be like getting a head start. In 10 years, I'll be 23 and I'll already have 10 years, um, 10 years of experience working in this industry. So yeah, and I've got to meet like really good contacts that I could use uh, when I need them in the future. And then because I'm so young again, I get a lot of great publicity uh, for my products. So yeah, um, a lot of uh, news websites have um, written about me and so that's been good too. And then I get the opportunity to go to great places like Campus Party and I get to get amazing contacts that could help me in the future. And then the disadvantages, there's not a lot, but uh, it'd be hard to work full time on what I want to do. I still have to go to school, I still have to go play soccer and things like that. So to get all the work done in like a, a, t a period of time can be hard sometimes. And then uh, most important is not, I'm not always being taken seriously because I'm so young. Not a lot of people would say, oh, it's a real st startup. Um, you're just doing this as a game, so uh, things like that. So that would be hard to get investment and uh, get staff and things like that. Um, and yeah, uh, that's, that's actually, that's me. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them, yeah. So does anyone have any questions? Oh. Hi, yeah, um, thanks for that, that was brilliant. Um, you've obviously kind of developed quite a few games so far. I was just wondering what kind of led to your leap into kind of the education area. Uh, I, just, I was just in school one day and I just saw that my teacher was having a hard time like doing this and she lost her book so like all her information was gone for the entire year. So I just, I, I thought of this idea and I don't really know why I did it, but I just, because I, I always prototype different things. It's not always games I prototype. It's just usually games that sort of make the cut. But this one was like a really good idea and I thought it had lots of potential. So I, I just went ahead and did it. Cool. Hi. Um, again, thank you for a great speech. Um, I was wondering, you, you told um, uh, that uh, you already founded two startups. So my question is, uh, have you discussed with some investors, you know, giving you money and something, you know, the, the business part, I mean? Uh, so yeah, the business. Um, I, I've tried to speak to investors, but again, because I'm so young, I haven't really been able to get a lot. But um, with the new one, Teachware, I'm sort of, making it into a more business thing. I'm more focusing on monetization and things like that. But it's, it's so early now that I don't really know how that'll do. But I've already taken on a few staff. Um, uh, they're going to help. Lots of my friends are into it too. So they're going to help too. But it's because it's so like early. I, I, can't, I don't really know any. Like, I, don't if I, I don't know if I'm going to go to for investment. I don't know if I'm going to go to Accelerator. But yeah. Uh, yeah. But I might, I might. I've been interested in like Accelerators. And that would be a good idea too. Thank you. Any more questions, guys? All right, thank you. Let's give another round of applause to Casey, guys. Thanks. Thank